Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial here on unitycookie.com www.unitycookie.com of course. Uh, this will be the first in a quick little series on NGUI which is a really nice little uh, actually rather large uh, GUI plugin for Unity 3D allows you to make some really great uh, GUI uh, in a short amount of time and with a lot of options and features. So just looking at this real quick, here's a bit of a sample scene and something that's coming in the uh, Tower Defense tutorial. Uh, so if we hit play, uh, let's look at this. Just a quick little scene. It's got um, you know some GUI items to show some info. Uh, this little button effect over here that we can push has audio if you can hear that. Uh, we've got some buttons that can toggle on and off. One that's uh, sort of grayed out and this button that has a nice little animations, flips around, all this stuff. Uh, all in all this probably took me uh, maybe 10-15 minutes to put together. Um, it's uh, just very very nice through NGY. If you remembered in or, or if you're watching or have watched any of the uh, Lunar Lander tutorials you'll know just how tricky it is uh, with the built-in Unity GUI in Unity 3 uh, to get anything that looks uh, respectable, good, and fun, and this would definitely take quite a bit of work uh, to make. But NGUI makes it all very simple. So let's take a look. Uh, this being the very first tutorial in this series, um, or mini series, I should say, uh, first thing we'll do is just look at how to get the free version of NGUI. Uh, and to do that, you need uh, the links that should be right on the page in front of you if you're looking at this from CG Cookie's site. And there's two uh, that we need. Number one, uh, this NGY free edition link, uh, which is just uh, right on the Unity forums. You can simply Google and search for NGY free edition, and it'll probably be uh, the top link. Let's see, that's how I got here. NGY free version, it's right there. Top link, go to that, make sure you have a Unity login, and you'll get right to it. So on here, uh, you can simply click the logo to download the Unity package. And that'll download right there. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a new scene uh, just so we can start fresh with this entirely. Okay, so I have a clean blank scene open here, and I'm just going to go ahead and import uh, the file that we downloaded, it's a free NGUI. So you can just click on that Unity package with the scene open here, and Unity will go ahead and auto bring in all of that. Just so click on import with all the boxes checked, don't change anything. It'll do its thing, just like importing any other asset. Okay, and there we have it. There's now a NGY folder waiting for us up here in the project area. And there's one last thing we have to do uh, if, if you're going to be using JavaScript uh, in this project uh, and not C Sharp, which I recommend. It's how these tutorials will all be anyway. Uh, or at least the ones that I'm doing since I just use JavaScript. One quick thing we have to do to make this work for that, and that's what the other link is. If you um, go to the NGUI site and just look this up um, uh, right under the frequently asked questions under their forum, right there. And they have a right at the very top, how do I use NGUI with JavaScript? You have to do a little bit of folder moving uh, to make this work just right. So all we have to do is right click in the project area and create a new folder call this plugins and right click on that folder and create another folder inside of it called NGUI. And plugins is a special uh, folder that Uni, uh, the Unity uses to know um, what's going to be in there and how to use it um, basically. So this has to be named exactly plugins and then we drop in the NGUI folder for just uh, organization. And then grab everything, uh, let's see actually, if you then open up the NGUI folder, the original one that was imported, and then go down to the scripts folder and inside of there grab everything except editor so all four folders interaction internal tweening and UI drag and drop those into the NGUI folder into the new one that we created inside of plugins and that's it all you have to do it's taken care of uh, it'll now work just fine with JavaScript so just a quick thing there and that's it for installing the free version of NGUI. Um, the only difference between the free and the full paid version is it's not fully updated, so it's I think one version 1.7 or something, and the uh, the newest version is up to 2.04 or something like that. So you're missing a few features, but generally it's all there. Uh, of course, it has that logo. If we hit play, it'll probably pop up even now. Uh, maybe not unless there's any uh, NGUI items in there, but it just drops in the logo and uh, a little not for retail uh, sign on the bottom. 
So very nice. Uh, you can use it to really um, you know mess around, see if it's something you think you want to keep using. Now that uh, now that I've used it so much, uh, if you look at uh, Eat Cheap, which you're definitely checking out, the CG cookie game Eat Cheap, www.eatcheap.com, uh, every single bit of the UI was created within NGUI, and I did that, or most of it anyway. Um, and it's uh, it was quite an eye opener seeing how easy that could be, fast, and how much you can do with NGUI in so little time. Um, definitely never going back. So check out the free version, uh, see how you like it. And uh, we'll have some more tutorials on here and a lot of future series that we're going to be using NGUI for the GUI. Uh, so it'd be good to know at least the basics. Uh, as well as, um, you know, if you decide to purchase it, it's only uh, 95 bucks for the full thing. Definitely worth it. And I've seen it on sale occasionally for half off. So uh, good to uh, keep an eye on. Okay, thanks everybody. Um, that'll be it for this tutorial, just setting up and installing NGUI. And uh, see you next time. Thanks.